This Metro Vancouver crew is trying to dislodge something very disgusting from inside the sewer pipes. They've been at it several nights. Already, they pulled out this, and this, and this. And they think there's still more to come. These are hardened globs of cooking grease, AKA fatbergs. And they're super stuck to the inside of the pipes. Figuring out how much is in there and how to chip it off has been a challenge. Year round, Metro Vancouver liquid waste crews clean out sewer mains with this special truck that sprays high pressure water inside the sewer pipe and vacuums up the debris. It works well for standard pipes, but at some locations, the sewer pipe has to bend underneath other objects like streams or utilities, and grease backs up more than usual. These bent pipe areas are called inverted siphons, and they're difficult to clean and inspect. In large pipes, divers sometimes go inside to see what's happening, but angled siphons are too steep to negotiate. For this siphon, sonar was used. The yellow line is the bottom of the grease. The pipe was half clogged with grease. At night, sewer levels are low. So three crews are set up along the underground pipe, each with a huge vacuum truck. They rebuilt this spray nozzle to handle higher than usual pressure, 2700 PSI, because the grease was not budging with their typical process. The red spray hose has been inserted into the sewer, but it's not advancing. It's stuck. They're going to try readjusting, so they're pulling it out. And look what comes up. Wipes, plastic, hair, floss, string. All this twists together and with the grease becomes solid. They try again and the hose moves forward this time. As the water jets dislodge chunks, the crews try to catch, smash and vac. But there's so much grease that it flows downstream to the other crews. Some grease ends up at the wastewater plant, where it clogs the intake screens and strains the treatment process. Or it reattaches inside the pipes and contributes to the original problem, limited space for sewer water. And if grease is taking up space in the pipes, they become full faster, and the sewer water is forced out into the environment. It contributes to flooding situations like this. Multiple nights of crew work gathered 50 tons of grease, which was trucked to a special disposal area at the Iona Wastewater Treatment Plant. Wipe, scrape, or pour fats, oils, and grease in your compost, not down the drain. Now you know why.